Chicago Cubs Baseball Fans, how are we doing tonight? How is everyone doing? How are my Cub fans doing? How is everybody doing tonight? Uh, all right, guys. I uh, hope all you guys had a beautiful, fabulous, lovely, magical, safe, amazing, phenomenal, spectacular, spontaneous, just great, peaceful, magical weekend. Hopefully you are all having a great start to your week so far. Oh, and I forgot it is Monday. That's really, it's Monday. I didn't know that. I'm just, I'm kidding. I did know that, but hope you guys are having a good Monday so far. And welcome back to the channel, everybody, of Cubs Baseball with Rye Knipe. Well, guys, Wrigley, before I get started, you guys may remember a certain someone. Come here. Oh, yeah. Remember Wrigley? This is... Thank you. This is Wrigley. You, you guys remember him? And all that. Yeah. Wrigley having a good day today. You know, Wrigley, he is a little sad. He's sad that the Cubs are not playing tonight. He is sad that the Cubs lost yesterday, but... That's okay, because you know what, guys? The Cubs are off today, and they actually begin a two-game series against the White Sox tomorrow. And, hey, I, that is big. But I want to get into the main reason I'm about this video. The main key point reason is the Cubs made a move today, and that is they have optioned right-handed pitcher Daniel Palacia to Triple A Iowa. That is the big roster move that was made by the Chicago Cubs today. But uh, now that that's out of the way, I'll go on and address who the starting pitchers for the, against the White Sox will be. Game one is at Wrigley Field tomorrow night. It will be the Japanese southpaw left-hander of Shota and Manga. And then on Wednesday, hump day, the middle of the week, it will be the right-hander of Jamison Tyone. So I actually like where the Cubs are going. I I, I mean, the, the, the White Sox are not really having the best season this year. So hopefully the Cubs can get a two-game series sweep. And that two-game series will begin at beautiful, legendary, iconic, magnificent, gorgeous, and magical Wrigley Field starting tomorrow night. And I think it is a good idea, Wrigley, that we mention Wrigley. Here, Wrigley, Wrigley, come here, come here, come here. Guys, I, hold on, Wrigley is a little shy tonight, and I don't know, why, why are you shy? Why are you shy? Why? You, you're just shy. He's a little shy. Oh. But he loves me. Wrigley is such a good boy. And Wrigley wants a win tomorrow. Wrigley. Mwah, he wants a win tomorrow night by the Chicago Cubs. I just have that feeling. And he loves me. And believe me, guys. I think the Chicago Cubs should give Wrigley a win tomorrow. Yeah, I, I, I don't know about you guys. I certainly believe so. I believe the Cubs should give Wrigley that tomorrow. 
Because the Cubs don't play tonight. They play tomorrow. And they will play the cross-town rival, the Chicago White Sox. And hopefully, if everything goes to plan, we will sweep the Chicago White Sox starting tomorrow. But it is true, guys. Daniel Passia has been optioned down to Triple A Iowa. And then game one of the Crosstown series begins tomorrow night at beautiful, iconic, legendary, magical Wrigley Field. And tomorrow night, like I said, I will say it again because I love who's on the mound for the Cubs tomorrow. The softball Japanese Shota Imanga will take this beautiful, magnificent baseball and pitch for us tomorrow. And then on hump day, Wednesday, the day after tomorrow, it will be the beautiful right hander of Jameson Tyon when he takes the mound and hopefully goes for the series sweep. I know Wrigley wants a Cubs win tomorrow. Not lying to you guys about that. So, but yes, Cub fans, that is all I got for you guys on this edition of Cubs Baseball with Rod tonight. Uh, like I said, hope all you guys are having a lovely, magical, magnificent, I cannot talk today, magnificent, amazing, lovely, gorgeous, fabulous, beautiful, magical, awesome, memorable, phenomenal Monday. And once tomorrow hits, Monday will be in the real view mirror, and we will be officially one day closer to Friday and the weekend, and I can't wait. So, all right, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, make sure you go ahead, hit that thumbs up and that like, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. And, guys, it is it does feel odd that the Cubs are not playing tonight. It really, really does, actually. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't have anything else to say other than it feels very, very odd that the Chicago Cubs are not playing tonight. But hopefully the Cubs can get a W tomorrow against the Crosstown rival, the Chicago White Sox. All right, everybody, I'm going to stop talking now. Have a lovely and safe and natural and amazing and incredible rest of your Monday night. I'll see you all in the next episode.